All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And uh, we welcome everybody. And I hope today we will have a good time uh, enjoying uh, the challenge of the truth. Uh, you know, today I made a video about uh, what it's called uh, the Quran miracles. And we spoke about a uh, few things Muslims they speak about as it's a, a, like a scientific discovery in the Quran, which is obviously is just a scam. Now, one of you, he posed something in the text. He said, I tried to make uh, a politician to listen to Christian Prince uh, videos, but the problem he keeps saying like words like scumbag, uh, liars, uh, filthy. Uh, and he added some words, which is really obviously very stupid of what he said. You know, when we say scumbag, this is not a name calling. If somebody is dirty, you say to him dirty. If somebody is a child molester, you say to him, you are a child molester. If somebody is a thief, he's a thief. Like, what, what, what I should call him, Dr. Thief? Mr. Thief? Mr. Child Molester? So, you know, uh, uh, everybody knows I am not uh, politically correct. If you are a person who is looking for someone to say, sir, how are you doing? You know, it's a, uh, this is not uh, this is not the place to stand to, to stop by. Go and watch Dr. Phil or Oprah. I mean, why you are here? I am not of those people who you are talking about and I will never be. If somebody is a scumbag, I will say he is a scumbag. Otherwise, there is no need for me to be speaking to anyone because people, they are sick of people being uh, politically correct. You see, one of the reasons I told the ABN, I don't want to be in your TV no more because they are very much trying their best to be politically correct. Each time they invite me to speak in their TV, they give me a 15-minute lecture about Please don't say that, and please don't uh, be tough on them, and please don't uh, be harsh on them. It's like they are scared of what I'm going to say. So I told them I don't want to be there. I'm not going to change myself to fit for the way you like to listen. I am here to say how I speak, how I talk, the way I am, and if you don't like it, go. Watch, watch Tom and Jerry. I mean, what, what's wrong with people? This is not a customer service and what I, I'm going to call you, sir. If you are a scumbag, I'm going to say, sir, you are a scumbag. Are you happy now? I will call you, sir. When somebody, he fabricate translation and fabricate the meaning of the Quran, what he is then if he is not a scumbag? Give me, give me a title, what I should call him. Mr. Liar, I show you the lies, I prove it in the screen, and then I say, okay, he's a liar. So what do you want more? What I should say? I prove the lie, I show you. Now today, I have an open challenge for all the Muslims. Please, guys, don't forget to invite your friends and post the link around on Facebook so we can get more people here. As an example, in front of us, we have the the, uh, uh, the the Muslim mosque. Is that a Muslim mosque? No. This is a Jewish land, and this is a Jewish temple, and the Muslim, they build the mosque in the top of it. It's a lie. There's no mosque there. Everything in this religion is based on a lie. So what, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? I don't care about getting more popular. I care about saying the truth. And don't worry about getting more popular. I have my videos all over the internet. Just type my name, you get scared. By myself, I type my name once, and I get scared. <laughs> There's thousands and thousands and thousands of videos. So <clears throat> uh, I like people more, more people to watch the video, yes. More people to, uh, to to learn the truth, yes. But I am not here to compromise and to be a fake person and a hypocrite. 
I'm not going to say Prophet Muhammad. I will say Prophet Muhammad, the child molester, for he is a child molester. Prophet Muhammad, not for me. He's not a prophet for me. Obviously, he's not. You know, he's a thief. He's a criminal. So if a Muslim cannot handle to hear this, this is his business because he is not being truthful. You know, when the Muslim, they say to us, Jesus is not God. This is for us and is insulting. But I listen to the Muslim. I don't stop listening to him. Okay, tell me more. Okay, Jesus is not God. Okay, why? So I don't say, oh, you are, you just offend me by saying Jesus is not God. I'm going to listen to you. When a Muslim, he says to me, your Bible is corrupt. I'm not going to shut him down and say, okay, I'm not going to listen to you. Okay, tell me why. This person is just telling me what he believed. And I'm telling you what I believe. And I can prove it easy. So can a Muslim prove me wrong? This is the question. The Muslim is a person who keep saying lies about us. As an example, how many times the Muslims they call Paul names? Right in your face. Go watch uh, Shabir Ali in uh, ABN, the coward who will, he will never dare to debate me. The potato. Should I call him potato? Are you insulted? He's a potato. You go after American who don't speak Arabic to debate them, but he, he know he's no match. He know that I'm going to I'm, I'm going to make him shish kebab. Like as an example, the scumbag, and I call him scumbag because he's scumbag. He said to David Wood in one of his debates, "Oh, you are searching in Google to show me the numbers, the mathematical numbers in in uh, in uh, in the Bible." Well, aren't you the same searching Google and you found that in Google? Where do you found those stories? This idiot himself do not even know how to read Arabic. He cannot even count the letters of the Arabic. So how do you know? But the problem is, my friend, that they debate someone. He is not, let us say, his answers is not ready. You know what I mean? Oh, you are searching Google. So, hey, Shabir Ali, where are you? Where are you get this the number 19 miracle from? Isn't it from Google? Did you do it yourself? Do you know even how to read the Quran? And I made a challenge for him to open his screen the same as we do. Look, look, you see this guy, he don't dare to debate me, right? We know. Okay, we got it. Let us say he is a person who have a PhD. He is a scientist. He is a blah, 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 whatever. I challenge him. To do the same as I'm doing right now, open the screen, show it in the in, in, in the screen, and count for us the letter of number 19. And I will make everybody laugh at you to death. Each time he see a Christian, he say miracle number 19, miracle number 19. This guy even do not know how to count one word in the Quran, the letters of this word. Now, who's a Muslim would like to call me to tell me about the miracle of number 19? Including Shabir Ali, if you are listening, hey, call me. Let us laugh. Who is a Muslim? As long as we mention it, even though it's not like, you know, it's not really important. But as long as we mention it, you see, my challenge is very open, very easy. And actually, I challenge the Muslims to show, to show me one verse in the Quran or oh, sorry, one chapter. Just one chapter is not is not containing errors. Horrible errors. I mean, how tough this challenge is. Find me one chapter in the Quran is not a stupid. Any Muslim can do that. I mean, this should be easy. You see, we are not picking up our uh, uh, the errors and say, "Oh, here there is an error." No, I am saying to you, show me one chapter in your Quran is not a stupid. Is not containing a stupid error. Not only stupid. Who want to do that? Who want to do that? Chapter 138, 138. There's no chapter 138. The Quran is 114. You remind me of uh, of my birth date. It was February 21st. Come on. Do we have any Abdul? He dared to call me. My Skype is open. 
Name for me one chapter in the Quran is not containing or does not contain an error, a challenge. You see, choose anyone. I mean, choose the most powerful one. Or you know what? If this is a topic which is tough for you to find me one chapter out of 114 is not a stupid. Okay. What about you tell me about the miracles of the Quran? What about you tell me about the corrupt Bible? Who is the Muslim when I call me to tell me about the corrupt Bible? I mean, this is easy. This is a this is the favorite topic of the Muslims. Any Muslim want to do it? Anyone? Again, guys, don't forget to post around in Facebook. So maybe we can get some Muslims here and they might, you know, you never know. They might get excited. And, you know, nothing is more beautiful than a Muslim is getting excited. He gets hyper, you know. Any Abdul? I don't care. I don't care. You know, give, let them give me any chapter of their choice. I don't care. Chapter number one, number two, number 10, number 50. Make a choice. Choose one. <clears throat> Every chapter in the Quran is a stupid until you prove the opposite. And I am here to challenge that. Who want to do it? <clears throat> Any Abdul? You see, we are giving the Muslims the chance to prove to us anything. The Bible is corrupt. Let us talk about the Bible is corrupt and your favorite topic. Who is a Muslim want to call me and tell me about the corrupt Bible? I love it. I'm scared. I mean, this is horrible. The Bible is corrupt. Call me Muslims and tell me about it. I'm shaking. Hey, Shabir Ali, call me. You know what Shabir Ali he do? Uh, the guy, his name is, uh, 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 what, I mean, the, the, he quote names we never heard of. And he said, this guy, he said in his book, I mean, who cares what he said in his book? What if I say to you, Christian Prince, in his book, he said, Muhammad is a stupid. Do you accept that? Someone, he said in his book, either you have your own logic to prove it to us, or you don't quote for me, somebody said in his book, people, they can say whatever they want in their books. What is counting, or what it does count, is you give us a proof. Otherwise, people, they can make books. My books does not contain, what, impo what is important about my books is not me saying something. It is the proof I give in the book. So can a Muslim give us something useful? I don't know how I'm going to be more flexible than this. I just told you, do you like to talk about the corrupt Bible? I thought this is your favorite uh, topic, Muslims. Seriously, I thought this is your favorite topic. You know, when the Muslims, they speak about the corrupt Bible, <clears throat> let me give you an idea about the stupid things the Muslims they say again for the guy who is saying don't please don't use the word stupid Muslims or stupid things my friend it is a stupid so I have to say the word stupid sorry you try to find different person to listen to the corrupt Bible how stupid this argument somebody he is a Muslim he speak about Oh, let us see. <clears throat> That's a switch. Time for shish kebab. And I think I need to turn the light on. All right. Abdul. Abdul, I love you, Abdul. I mean, Abdul, you are my favorite, my favorite cookies. Chapter 3, verse number 3. What it, what it does say? Ah, I forgot you don't speak Arabic. نزل عليك الكتاب بالصدق 
كتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وانزل التوراه والانجيل وات ذا هيك وات وات Let's go and see the translation. Should we see the Muslim translation? This is Muslim translation, huh? Not Christian translation. No, take, uh, take a note. Abdul, do you see in the front of you that your God Allah is saying that He sent down three books? If you don't like Yusuf Ali translation, I'm not picking up Yusuf Ali, by the way, he is dumb, stupid as the rest. I can change it for you. Which one make you happy? Shakir? Let us shake Shakir. Here we go. Shakir is going to tell us something. So what Shakir is saying here, that Allah, he sent the three books. Or at least he sent books confirming what is between his hand and he sent the Torah and he sent the gospel Bektal, you want to you want Bektal? Here we go. This is Bektal. I mean Bektal. I like Bektal He revealed the Torah and the gospel so the stupid Abdul is spending his time to prove to us that the book of his God is corrupt I Mean this is alone is enough reason to believe that Allah is a fake God Anyone do respect a God, he cannot protect his book. So you Muslims, you say to us that your God, Allah, huh? S A W S M G, he revealed the Torah and he revealed the gospel, but he could not keep a copy. I mean, what happened? Your God, he sent the Torah and he sent the gospel, but he could not keep a copy. I mean, who is the dump here? Are you saying to us Muslims that your God, he is so weak and to the point we can beat him up and change his book? Why in the world anyone would I trust a God like this? Like what, what, what happened? He was a snoring. He was vacation when we changed the book and then he woke up and it was too late. Hey Allah, Allah, hey Allah, wake up. They are changing the book. Dr. Phil, Allah is, Allah is seeing Dr. Phil in the, in the, in the dream. What do you mean, Muslim, is that Allah, he sent a book and then his book is corrupt? I want to know. Who is a Muslim have the courage to explain to us how come your God, Allah, he sent a book, but he could not protect his book? By ex external, uh, you know, uh, hard drive. I can give you one. I have one. I mean, save the file there, man. Don't connect. Are you saying to me that Allah have a computer and the Christians and the Jews, they did hack his computer and even the file in his computer is gone? What is the gospel? What is the true gospel? Where, where, where it is? Where we can find it? What is the true Torah? What happened, my friend, it was very sad. <clears throat> this is the drama of the Muhammadan. Let us a little bit think about it. It's a serious drama. I hope a Muslim will call us soon. To tell you this drama, we need to play music, sorry. The background. Once upon the time, there was a God. He used to sleep a lot. After eating turkey, you feel like dead sleeping. He slept. He dreamed. It was a wet dream. And when he woke up, it was a horrible news. He found that Isa is gone. 
and his book is gone and Musa is gone and his book is gone I mean what's wrong with this God what's wrong with this God so the stupid Abdul they spend their money and their time to convince us that their God is a dumb God and anyone can beat the hell of him and he can change his book hold on hold on let us fix this your Christian don't understand what happened what happened is more than this Christian Prince is trying to fool you Christian Prince he will not show you other verses in the Quran which is showing what happened exactly he is hiding it from you ah okay okay <sighs> <clears throat> All right. There's other verse in the Quran. It says uh, that Allah He entrusted the rabbis. Allah He what? Allah entrusted the rabbis to protect the book. And you know the rabbis. Eh, they are not trustworthy and they change the book is that correct Muslims Muslims is that correct or I'm making things up huh any Muslim is here Any Muslim? Not even one? D don't force me to quote the verse without your existence. I want a Muslim to call me and be a witness for what's what we will read in the screen. If we go to chapter 5 verse uh, 44. Oh, this is an Arabic page that has a switch. I mean, it's a it's a very bad decision Allah He did. I don't know what's wrong with him. All right. Abdul, is this verse is exist in the Quran? It's hard to believe, my friend, that Allah He says such a thing. Let me show you the Muslim translation first before we go there. We go to the interpretation. Even though, like, it's the, you do not really need interpretation for for this verse. It's very stupid. Read with me, Abdul. Uh, I forgot you are an illiterate like your prophet. You do not know how to read. I apologize. Inna anzalna tawrata fiha huda wa nurun, etc. And then he said, I know what, why I'm reading Arabic. Let us go to the English. Yusuf Ali. I like Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali is my favorite. Super star. So Allah, he said here that Allah, he entrusted. Read with me. By the rabbis and the doctors of law, for to them was entrusted the protection of Allah book. Oh boy. I mean, what a very... I mean, you see, the one who wrote this verse is either a donkey or he is a mule. And I challenge any Muslim to tell me this is not right to say. Because if Allah is God, and you just admitted, you Muslims, that Allah, he entrusted the rabbi. And obviously those rabbis are a bunch of liars. They change the book. Okay. So how Allah, he can use such a statement saying he entrusted them? Trust mean he believed they are good to go. 
right when I say I trusted you it's mean I thought in, a, in, in that moment that you are good do we agree guys if somebody said I trusted you and later you find that he is not trustworthy that's mean you made a you made an error you made a wrong decision you thought he is good but he is not good and this is very normal to happen for all of us because we are a human we do not know the future right but this is not accepted for God you know what I'm saying how God he is God and he entrusted the wrong one you see Jesus he told one of his apostles that he is going to betray him is that correct guys is that true so Jesus he knew he knew that this person is not a trustworthy he knew that he is going to betray him he knew exactly when he knew at the time he knew that is Jesus that is our Jesus who he knew who is going to be not a trustworthy and this is your God who he trusted the rabbis but all of them not even one I mean all the rabbis they betray Allah and they were liars and Allah was the victim any Muslim want to explain to us how this <laughs> drama happened how how Muhammad he makes such a mistake saying that Allah he entrusted the rabbi to protect the book is Allah aware that those rabbis are not trustworthy and they will uh, hmm, corrupt the book or maybe he have no idea as usual any Abdul Who want to answer? This is here we go. You must know you keep saying to us that the Torah is corrupted, the Torah is corrupted, the Torah is corrupted. I mean, this is stupid. Okay, the Torah is corrupted, right? Okay, explain to us how stupid this God is. Your God, He made a wrong decision. He gave it, He gave the Torah to the wrong people, to the bad people, and He entrusted them. So now we are blaming who? Is that my fault? Let us make it simple. I have in the bank $1,000. Somebody told me, take the $1,000 from the bank and give it to someone. His name is Yusuf Estate. Or let us let us make him a Jew. Forget about Yusuf Estate. Uh, uh, a Jew. Uh, Jack Shalom. Huh? And he told me that Jack Shalom, he will invest your money in the stock market and he will make it for you 10 times more. And the naive me, I took the money from the bank and I gave it to Jack Shalom. After a while, I called Jack Shalom. He told me, Habibi, Habibi, the money is, uh, is gone. We lost the stock market, Habibi. Now, who is the one who made the bad decision here? You will say, it's me, right? I made the wrong choice. I entrusted the wrong guy. How your God can do such a thing? That is accepted. To be done for a human being or by a human being because we make mistakes we trust people we should not trust that's very normal you see if every human being knows what will happen tomorrow from this person you can decide easy who can be your friend who cannot be your friend who you marry to who you don't marry to like if i know i'm going to marry a woman her name is fatima and she have the power of 40 men and we showed you yesterday I will not make a decision to marry her because I cannot. I mean, she had the power of 40 uh, men. I mean, that's it doesn't matter how much kebab I eat. I'm not going to be able to satisfy her. So why you have a God? He do not know the future and he is choosing the wrong ones. And even the book, your Quran saying he trusted them. How you can trust the wrong one when you are God. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Hello? You see the, the Muslim, they keep saying Christian Prince is hiding. I mean, I, do you see how much I'm hiding? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I should do to be to be not hiding no more. Where is the Muslims? Where is the brave Muslims who flood the internet with their post and the Bible is good rabbit brother and Jesus is not God? Okay. Hello. Who is the Muslim wanna call us and show us how foolish we are? Anyone? No, no, we don't want anyone to pretend to be a Muslim. We want real Muslims. This is what the Muslim do. They, they bring somebody as a Muslim and he, he called TV station and suppose he's a Christian and after two minutes he convert to Islam. I mean, have you ever heard of such a conversation? Somebody he called. Did you see the article of a guy? He, he said, a Christian guy, he converted to Islam because uh, he saw, he learned that a Muslim, he washed his ass. <laughs> You remember that video, right? <laughs> I love it. I mean, if people would convert to Islam because of washing your ass, I mean, because of shit, excuse my language, that's a shitty religion. That's a very shitty religion, man. I mean, even shit making people convert to Islam. This guy, he went to the bathroom. Let me tell you the story for those who do not know. There's two guys, they work in the restaurant, and the Muslim guy, every day, he fill a water in container and he take it with him to the bathroom. And the Christian guy was watching him and he asked him a question. He said, why you take, why you do this? Why you take a container full of water with you to the bathroom? The guy, he said, because me as a Muslim, I have to wash my ass. So the Christian, he said to himself, oh, okay, weird. So uh, he decided to try it. And then he went to the bathroom and he tried it. And then he came from the bathroom and he was crying. I mean, <laughs> the Muslim, he came to him, he said, the brother, brother, what's happening? The Christian guy, he said, I never felt so clean like today. <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet. I kill you. I kill you. So, if the story is not convincing for you, I mean, it's very convincing for the Muslims, obviously, and they are copying from each other. Hey, Abdul, do you know that your prophet, he never used water to clean his ass? Do you know that your prophet, he used rocks? Do you know your prophet, after he cleaned his, his, his hands, after the wind poopoo, he wrapped his hands in the wall, which means if we look at the wall of Muhammad bedroom where he do poopoo, we will find the jokanda of shit. Excuse my language. Because when you touch your ass, you clean your ass with your hands, and then you, you dry your hands in the wall, can you imagine how many colors we will find there? A smart Muslim, he wanted to refute me about that. He said, what do you want him to do? He is in the desert. Abdul, are you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? In the desert, but there's a wall? But what desert? It says in the wall. What, are you saying to me, your prophet, when he go in the desert, he take his wall with him? <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know really what to say. <laughs> so 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on i mean those guys they love for anything you know this this uh this background audio it remind me of a, a stand alone a comedy but it is like the the stereotype where there's people laughing for whatever those people say in the tv oh, 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 oh. i mean come on show respect this is the prophet himself rubbing his hands in the wall trust me if the muslim they can find that wall where the prophet he used to rub his hands from poo, poo in the wall they will worship the wall actually i can show you how the muslims used to fight over the water of muhammad testicles actually if you have my books you can read the reference do you have my books if you don't you can go to amazon and search for a christian prince and don't get scared i mean the books are very funny Sometimes I laugh, <laughs> not because of what I, read, I wrote there, but because how stupid Islam is.
I have to. Do we have any Abdul? Who is a brave Abdul would like to call me immediately and show us how dumb and how stupid your book Muslims why your God he entrusted the rabbi to protect the book when he should supposedly be the almighty God who he knew that this is not right how you can trust someone is not good to try to protect the Torah And I have other question. Did Allah trust the Christians to protect the gospel? Or only he trusted that the, the Jews? <laughs> Any Abdul? <laughs> 